Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Welcome back to the show and happy Wednesday. Even though the competitive season hasn't started yet and we don't have any shows to recap, we do have one big story to share about the upcoming season, which comes from the Arnold Sports Committee. A few days ago, we were told that there would be an announcement coming soon regards to the times, dates, and locations of their various events that were postponed a few weeks ago due to logistical issues stemming from COVID-19. As of today, the Arnold sports team has been pretty tight-lipped about what the details are, but we do know that they're planning to hold at least one major event later in the year. Obviously, the Arnold Classic is the biggest event in the industry outside of the Olympia. So having that back in place will be huge for a lot of athletes. And if they can time this thing right, so that it basically turns into something that resembles a conference championship weekend before the Super Bowl of bodybuilding, I think it would be another really interesting layer of intrigue to the second half of the season. I learned two things watching the NFL playoffs last weekend. One, the Pittsburgh Steelers were a complete fraud, well, and maybe the worst 12 and 4 team of all time, and two, the ability to execute becomes even more important in high pressure situations. So if I'm Logan Franklin coming off my first top 10 Olympia finish in classic physique, I'm looking at every day like a high pressure situation that requires me to execute. Considering how good the top 3 was this year, I think landing solidly in the top 10 has to be viewed as a major win for Logan's perspective. But now that the pressure's on him to keep Pace as a member of the top tier will need to be ready to execute at a level that demands excellence day in and day out. I have one other thought about the NFL playoffs before I get away from this. Every year we see a team who's shown flashes of being good at different points in the season. Pull it all together right before the playoffs start and ride that wave all the way to the conference championship game. So with that in mind, I wonder if Rafa Brandeo can be bodybuilding's version of the team that gets hot at the end of the season this year. Rafa's made a lot of improvements when we saw him on the Europa stage back in November, and I've heard from credible sources that he feels good about where he is at this point in the process. We've seen Rafa hold his own and go shot for shot with some of the high caliber Olympia athletes. So if he gets hot at the right time this year, I can see him riding that wave into a deep postseason run. And finally, I want to end today's show by sending out a get well shout out to our old friend Brad Rowe, who still can't seem to outrun the injury bug even though he's ventured off into retirement. Last week, Brad wound up having to undergo surgery after he ruptured his quadricep tendon messing around on a basketball court. Even though the tendon completely detached from the bone, everything seems to have gone well during surgery. And Brad reports that his doctors say he should be able to make a full recovery by August or September. Even though I'm sure this isn't the way he wanted to start off 2021, at least he got the bad stuff out of the way early. So there should now be nowhere left to go but up. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you.